actually the pastry that I'm going to make uh, is the same pastry from the pork pie or a gala pie. I'll show you that. Mm. So this is what I made last night. We sort of posted some pictures of it earlier on today. The pastry's come off the side. Oh no. I have to eat that. Uh, hang on. <laughs> But there's the pork pie. Mmm. Garlic pie. It tastes amazing. So, it's the same pastry. Um, I made a double batch yesterday and I used one and a half, um, or, you know, one whole portion and a half of the second portion. So I've got the other bit of portion here. Although it's been in the fridge overnight, so it's gone very firm um, and it's impossible to do anything with. So you do need to sort of let it sort of come to room temperature. Whatever's left um, with this little piece, I'm going to make um, some little tarts as well. So we're not deciding what's going to go in them yet. Um, but for the quiche, I'm going to do it in. Uh, so we're going to cook it in the ninja. So I'm going to do it in this. We need to start off with uh, ground almonds, 100 grams of ground almonds. Um, I haven't got any, in fact they didn't have any in, in, in uh, Aldi, so I've ground my own. Um, I know there's 50 grams in there. We're going to blitz this first. Right, there we go, that's blitzed enough. Get the other 50 grams in there as well. Right, into that is the xanthan gum. Oh, we, we say xanthan, but it's xanthan. Yeah. Only a quarter teaspoon. That helps it sort of bind together. Parmesan cheese, 25 grams of Parmesan cheese. Right, so here's the, not tricky bit, but it's the bit that creates the base. So it's 50 grams of butter. Cut it into little chunks. You don't want it soft. This has just come out of the fridge. And actually it's only just firm enough. I would normally use the, the, the bigger, blender uh, and just drop the uh, the butter in. Now, you can use both, I did yesterday, but I've also made it in this one before. So drop maybe half the butter in. Not long, don't want to sort of turn it into a paste. You can probably see it's gone quite um, it's like big uh, chopped almonds now, crushed almonds now, it's a bit clumpy together. So I don't want it any, any more ground than that. Uh, egg. You just don't want to over mix this. You're not trying to create a paste. Quickly mix the egg in. Right, I'm going to transfer it into a bowl so you can sort of see the see the uh, the transformation. So it's gone a little bit sort of thick, and then to add to this because this is too soft um, to use, 20 grams of coconut flour. Don't want to handle it too much because don't forget this is um, lots of butter. So I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to get some greaseproof paper sorted out. I'm going to line that tray. I'm going to very quickly sort of blind bake it um, in the Ninja while I get everything else ready. All right. I'm only going to use about half of this to start with. Half of it should be enough to um, to line that entire tin. 
which it might be a little bit more. I go with two thirds. Stuck the ninja on bake, 15 minutes, 190. Is that the same as like an oven? Yeah, yeah. It can go quite thin. Um, it will start, it will sort of break up a little bit as you're putting it into the tray, but it's easily repaired. So don't stress about that. A little bit more. Best way to handle it from this point is take the top off. Turn it over. And take that off. Don't try and peel it off the paper because it will just stick. Which is surprising because it's made out of mostly butter. <laughs> right, so that's going to fit. Um, now I didn't line the um, pork, pork pie. pie tin or the ninja tin and it came out no problem at all and again I've done this before. What have we put this in before when we cooked it? Was it in the big glass one? No it would have been in that. Was it in this as well? Um, so generally doesn't doesn't need to be lined however just be aware your tin might. Right, so straight away it's just ripped there a little bit. I'm not going to worry about it because I can repair it once it's in. I remember when you first made this, you were well happy with yourself. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just a different, different pastry to using fathead, isn't it? And, yeah. And obviously a lot of people don't like the taste of the linseed, whereas this has got a proper buttery short crust taste to it. Right, so there's a couple of little, I'll just get that, there's a couple of little gaps where it's just torn, dead easy, just patchwork it, just press it in place. You absolutely, I mean, A, that it's underneath the quiche, so you won't see any of this. Um, I just Fill in the gaps. So about two thirds of it, the, the dough, six inch. So a six inch, so that is gonna go in. I'm gonna literally sort of five or six minutes just to sort of like firm up. Right, so I can make a couple of little sort of savory tarts with them later. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you know what I forgot to bring out is the gouda cheese. That's the difficult bit done. Just a bit of bit of pastry. So filling. So sandy slaw today, mm -hmm. I'm not making mayonnaise. Okay? Yeah, make it with Greek yogurt and cream cheese. I've or got, got creme, creme fraiche in there. Oh nice. Yeah. Um right, so let's do so we're having cheese and tomato omelette. Ross would argue that because there's no, you, you haven't put any cream in the I know. eggs. I, know. I did that to annoy Ross. <laughs> there's a lot of things we do to annoy <laughs> Ross. <laughs> we tend to pick on him. <laughs> that base is already smelling really good. It just smells like caramelised butter at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. It's, ju it's just going slightly golden now, so I'm only going to give that another minute or two. So you can see it's got a more short crusty nice. colour now. Yeah. yeah. So I don't believe that. It's the parmesan as well. The parmesan makes it smell so nice. Yeah. I cook this in butter. Did I just see why, or did you just read the instructions? I did just read the instructions. Well done. I always forget what I've written, and then I make it up again as I'm going along. But it's quite nice if the tomatoes are fried in this first, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm starting to like cherry tomatoes more yeah, and more yeah, now. Yeah, I know, I know. 
So what I'll do is I'll just sit the um, the asparagus on top and let them soften up on top. Mm -hmm. I'll just let them heat through first. Um, oh, ah, guess what I forgot? What? Eggs. Oh yeah, the the foundation of a quiche. Yeah. They're just left in the cupboard. How Hi, Jenny. Uh, eight in total because I'm gonna again. It's gonna be probably five or six going into the flan, into the that big one, and then the rest will go into the little one. But I'll do the biggie first, and then we'll uh, see how many little ones we're gonna get, get out of it. Right. Use the steam. Soften up the asparagus. Salt and pepper. Um, garlic powder, mm -hmm. obviously. I suppose onion powder would, would probably work better, actually. What are you getting? Fine. Oh, right. Works quite nicely with a little whiff. Oh, yeah. With strong cheese. I'm sure they understood every word of that. Yeah, it's it's gone quite crunchy already. I can feel it sort of gone quite firm. Um, so, let's put some stuff in it. Using a nice strong gouda. So this is vintage gouda from, um, I think this is Lidl's. They all seem to have got it in at the moment. Vintage gouda, um, the manchego. They're all going into a bit of speciality cheese at the moment. How are you doing this now? I don't know. That way? Well, because that's going to be really hard to cut, isn't it? No, it'd be solid. I should have sized them. The only difficulty with the Ninja, we'll be honest, um, there's a burn there and there's a burn there um, because when you're trying to get things in, it's quite low down. It's quite narrow. Um, so there are some utensils that you can use, but uh, when you're transferring liquid, yeah, see that's really difficult to use get Use the there. utensil. I don't get this with Ninja. Um, this, is, this came with something else. It's just making sure that you've got a tight enough grip <laughs> to lower it in. So, dead easy. Bake function, it's preset at 15 minutes, 190. That'll be perfect, 15 minutes, it'll be done. <laughs> right, probably needs to go back in for a few minutes. I can see it's just, just yeah. a little bit wibbly wobbly, but not much, but that's easily sorted because I can, oh, actually, yeah, it's a little, not quite done. Look at that.